you're quoted saying that art in is kind of useless and also that skateboarding is not an art it has like you know it has similarities to it which is contrary to what a lot of people say they say like skateboarding is an art this and that but my 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 thought was um so clearly skateboarding is something that affects the lives of people usually significantly when they get into it it takes over completely um it introduces them to a lot of their friends and a lot of their experiences music the way they dress and identity etc etc same same thing with graph or a lot of these different art forms how is this how is this useless if it it has all these uses of pretty much molding your life is it useless because it doesn't have a practical use is that the definition of useless yeah i think utilitarian was what i was going for like you know a painting doesn't make a good doorstop yeah (laughs) Uh, like art objects be they sculpture or i mean i'm also keep in mind i'm thinking of a very narrow range of shit i'm thinking of like conceptual art that you might encounter in a gallery space uh, and have to read a lot about to understand i'm also thinking of like altered pieces that you're now encountering in a museum you know um for me those things are by definition useless they're not tools right like you can think you can approach them conceptually you can learn from them but you can't use them to like change a tire Hmm. uh and skateboarding is a little more, doesn't mean that art doesn't like positively impact your life. The ability to think metaphorically and to think of things in terms of symbols and to find renewed meaning uh, in one's understanding of an idea as it's reflected in that artistic object, that is like fundamental to like our humanity, I would argue. You know, and some animals use tools, some animals make beautiful things. But I think that art is a way to confront our ideas of the unknown, of death, of leaving like a sort of a mark of your existence in a way that like, I wouldn't say that skate, like skateboarding is left, there's nothing I care more about skate, than, there's nothing I care more about than skateboarding. It has left an indelible mark on my life and, and like it is the lens through which I see the world. I have to put on different glasses when I'm looking at art and think about art. But like, I wouldn't say that skateboarding moves me in the same way that art does. I, I, you know, for me, it's experiential, it's physical. And I know that like, if I'm going to say that skateboarding is art, then what kind of fucking artist is Nyjah Houston? You know, like, like, like if, skate, if skateboarding is telling us something and we're, con- and we're considering that message to be the same type of message that art might tell us, it's telling us a very boring and confusing story. You know what I mean? Like it's telling, it, it can tell, I think that skateboarding is much more than art. You know, it's not, it's, I'm not like dissing skateboarding by saying, I don't think it's art. I think it, I, I'm like, why does it have to just be that? Like, I know about art, it's fucking limited, especially the way that it's seen and experienced now and who gets to do it and who gets to appreciate it and who gets to own it. Like all that shit is a series of like stop signs and speed bumps. Whereas like the fundamental, like approach and experience of skateboarding to me has been one of like unlimited possibility and unlimited interpretation. Skateboarding can be musical, it's sonic, it's bodily, it's physical, it's athletic, it's culture, it's linguistic, you know? You can tell, you can, someone who doesn't speak your language from the other side of the world, you can see something about their worldview through the way that they do backside kickflips, you know? And so, so I think that, um, Maybe it's just because I have, I'm, despite the fact that I've devoted 25 years of my life to studying art history, to writing about it, to teaching it on a professional level, whatever, whatever, I I still know how little I know about art. You know, it's, I'm confronting the unknown when I'm thinking about art. Whereas like with skateboarding, it's like in my like blood vessels, you know, like, and so I, 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 I know what it's not, you know? Uh, so I don't know. I mean, it, it's an art form. It can be appreciated aesthetically. Um, it can teach us in the same way that like you're, you were asking me before, like, you know, what do you, like how would like a graffiti writer like sort of sustain a career in the arts, you know, would that be possible? I think yes, in the sense that like they take that approach. They, they take, remove themselves from the granular nuts and bolts of what it means to like make marks on a wall. And they sort of think like, what am I actually doing? 
you know, more conceptually, how, what am I thinking about? What are the issues and how does, can this position towards the rest of the world be expressed in a different way? Skateboarding does the same thing, but I don't think that the specifics of skateboarding for me, the way that I understand it align with my understanding of art making or art appreciation. 